Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. This is video number two on this uh, brand new 2022 Toyota Sequoia TRD Sport. Brand new color for 2022, wind chill pearl. So in video number one, I took a look at the exterior. And here in video number two, we're gonna go ahead and dive inside this uh, 2022 Sequoia and check out the interior. And there's a couple of things here interesting right off the bat. So stay tuned and I'll show you what's new or not. Okay, let's head inside. Stop on the door first. Silver trim here on the door, hand, door armrest. Auto up and down on the front windows only. The back windows don't have auto up and down. Seems a little odd. Uh, matte black finish on your door handle. Other trims have a silver door handle, power do door locks, power uh, wind, uh, mirrors. Uh, storage compartment down here, little coin tray. Bottle holders and pockets in the doors and speakers in the doors. Now this does not have the JBL audio system, so this is going to have an eight speaker sound system. On the Sport Edition, we do have running boards, but then we also have the Sport applique on the door sill itself. Here's something really interesting, kind of caught me off guard. This is an actually a cloth seat. I don't remember the last time I saw a Sequoia with cloth seats. They're kind of a, a soft velour style seat. Um, super comfortable, but cloth I've not seen before. I know they made them, but I haven't seen one. Height adjustable headrest, height adjustable seat belts, uh, power driver seat with lumbar support right here. We don't have the bolster supports here on the cloth seats. Take a look at the uh, dashboard. There's four of these vents with up and down, left and right, on and off. Four of them across the dashboard. Power mirror controls. Dome lights for your interior dome lights. Switch is right there. We also have automatic high beams. So, the high, so your high beams go on and off based upon whether there's traffic or people in front of you. Just a small storage cubby here. And we do have a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And then we have the passenger assist grips up here. Actually, we have them at all four doors, including the back seats. This is a bit of a step up with the 20-inch wheels. So we've got a little over a 10-inch clearance, and that makes it a little cha more challenging to get up inside. But let's go ahead and do that and take a look at the interior. Okay, behind the wheel on the TRD Sport, this is a leather wrap steering wheel. It is not heated, not even available on the Sequoia. This side we've got controls for the sound system, Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone, airbag right here. And then over on this side, we've got controls for the information center, and that's up here in the gauge cluster. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. And then two switches here. One is for your dynamic radar cruise control, and the one other one is to turn off the lane departure. And then this is all kind of a um, black, flat black finish on the steering wheel as well. And then old school Toyota cruise control down here. Again, there are just about no changes from 2021 to 2022, but I did want to show you what I did learn. Wiper controls are over here, front washer wiper and also rear washer wiper. Gauge cluster, we'll turn that on in just a second, but I wanted to show you your headlights. You have auto on and off for your headlights and also your fog light controls are right here as well. Now we do have the uh, smart uh, keyless entry system, so you don't have a key actually, you've got a push button start. And so the switch for that is over here. In order to start it, you do want to have your foot on the brake. And we'll go ahead and start it up. And then your center stack does turn on as well. And we'll come back to this. So back over to the gauge cluster, tachometer on the left, oil pressure, engine temperature, voltmeter, and your gas gauge, information center, and then your speedometer is over on this side here with some warning lights. So BSM is blind spot monitoring is on, 
and RCTA is rear cross traffic alert is on right now. So those are just some indicators. Now, as far as the center information, outside temperature, an overview of the vehicle, and we, then we can use these switches right here, fingertip, to toggle through some of the settings on there. So we've got a digital speedometer, a radio station settings. We can turn on and off our different um, safety features, tire pressure monitors, and then we've got our lane departure assist, pre-collision blind spot monitoring, and rear cross traffic alert. So you can personalize this to what you prefer. We'll take a look at the uh, center stack. Now some have said, and I agree with them, the Sequoia is getting dated. Um, so the technology is good, but it's not great in my opinion. Uh, we do have some speakers up here in the dashboard, but your, your center stack here, this is just a nine inch touchscreen. Um, let's see, let's dive in here real quick. The TRD Sport does not have navigation. That's an app you would install on your phone and then run it through the system. As far as our audio system goes, we do have Cirrus satellite radio uh, and you get three months of the premium subscription. Um, and then after that, there's a monthly subscription. The system is Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa compatible. So it's got all that technology, it's just the screen's a little bit smaller and the resolution's not as good as some of the others that are on the market right now. Take a look at our automatic temperature system. So we do have automatic uh, temperature controls up front. We do have front driver and front passengers settings. We can sync those up. And then the backseat passengers have their own heating and air conditioning controls as well. So there's a three zone climate control. Here's our four wheel drive selector. Here's our rear um, heating and air conditioning on and off. Down below here is where we've got our USB ports and our old school cigarette lighter style charger down there as well. Here's our differential lock, our tow haul mode. This switch right here is for the rear window. So that very back window can be open and closed. Let me uh, show you what I mean. Is it gonna go down? Oh, must be locked. Hmm, it's locked up or it's not working, one of the two. Traction control right here on and off, and then parking, parking assist on and off here as well and then there's your push button start. On the TRD Sport, we do have the TRD uh, badging on here with some leather wrapping around the backside as well. Kind of a gunmetal gray plastic trim on there. Uh, we do have a backup camera, which displays up here, uh, but it does not have path projection, so the lines don't move with you. And then it's that gated transmission. This is a six speed automatic transmission. And you can also shift into manual mode if you want to work your way through the gears yourself. You can do that. Dual cup holders here. There's a smaller cup holder here. There's actually a storage compartment underneath there as well. And then all of this pops up and out of the way. If you want to take it in the house, run it through your dishwasher or what have you, you can go ahead and do that. And that pops back in like so. Our center armrest is quite large. I mean, it could fit three elbows on that. Um, underneath, there's a, kind of a place for papers, ink pens, tissues. There's also a file storage right here. So this little odds and ends tray, you can take that out. And then right here, you could hang uh, you know, hanging file folders if you wanted to, or you can pull that out all together and you've got a huge storage compartment under here and there's an additional 12 volt power outlet right here as well. So a lot of storage and places to put stuff under there. I like the file storage, it makes it a nice little workstation. Over on the uh, passenger side, we've got two glove boxes. So one up top there that one does not have a lock on it and then one down below which does have the lock on it of course your owner's manuals are all in there as well and over on the passenger side on the door is the storage compartment we saw on the driver's door We've got passenger assist grips up top 
factory moonroof with the uh, sliding visor lighted vanity mirrors the visors don't have extensions on them but they slide in and out like so overhead lighting place for papers here power moonroof controls uh, safety connect right here so if you have challenges out on the road press that roadside assistance Toyota will send somebody out to give you the help you need there is a sunglass holder right here and then your rear view mirror does not have automatic dimming also no home link on the TRD Sport Edition so it's your standard flip the switch rear, rear view mirror so that's a quick look up front let's uh, head into the back seat and check it out diving into the back seat on the doors similar to what we saw up front there's a speaker down here and there's bottle holders and then the TRD Sport does have the threshold applique there as well nice size step up into here as well and there's that passenger assist grip we saw before makes it easier to climb up and in take a look at the uh, driver's compartment from up from in the back here super spacious overhead is our uh, overhead lighting reading lights slide down take a look here we've got a 12 volt power outlet here we've got our automatic temperature control for your back passengers there's a cup holder down here pockets on the backs of both seats lots of room knee room back here in the back seats and again these are a cloth almost like a velour cloth kind of a little on the old school feel but definitely comfortable uh, no heated seats on the inside of the TRD Sport we've got vents up here for heating and air conditioner passenger assist grip laundry hooks up there as well these uh, bucket seats do recline and they also slide back and forth I just brought this one all the way up so I guess this would be all the way back for the legroom it's pretty good though it's about six or seven inches of legroom take a quick look in the back seat here and then we'll dive into the hatch itself so it does come with the carpeted floor mats TRD Sport and then here's a look at the back seat here 60 40 fold down seat let's uh let's jump out we'll go back around into the hatch and check it out okay so diving into the hatch on the back of the sequoia um, this sequoia trd sport does not have a power hatch so manually up and down i do love this large bumper it makes it easy to sit down and swap out your snow boots or your hiking boots or what have you in the back here there is a 12 volt power outlet right there we also have tie down hooks at all four corners there's a storage compartment down under here nice storage compartment your jack and your tool kit is all under there and then we do include the uh, first aid kit this storage compartment right here is not uh, waterproof you can't put ice cubes and beers in there it's not a tailgate style uh, but it is a nice place to throw your wet stuff get it out of there uh, as soon as you get home seats are 60 40 fold down I mentioned that before uh, the TRD Sport does not come standard with the power rear seats so these are manual seats so if we push on this handle right here we can go ahead and bring that forward but notice the headrests don't fold down by themselves so before you do that you want to fold those headrests they are height adjustable but these are um, not the full power seats so they don't fold down and then we can go ahead and drop it down so it's critical when you go to fold it down that you drop the headrest first but once you do that tremendous amount of space in the back of the sequoia cup holders on the side here storage compartments over here storage compartments underneath here and then the same thing over on this side with cup holders and storage compartments back there so plenty of places to put your stuff in the back of the sequoia and then finally this one the these are the floor mats that come with this particular one so you do get the sequoia embossed carpeted floor mats but then we upgraded this one to the uh, all-weather floor mats and that's what's in that box right there so the all-weather floor mats are an extra charge but I strongly recommend them 
Okay, that's the uh, new 2022 Toyota Sequoia TRD Sport. This is a standard level of equipment with, with the exception of the uh, all-weather floor liners. So this is part number two, uh, the interior overview. Be sure to catch part number one when I walked around the exterior. Put one and two together and you've got a full overview of the 2022 Sequoia TRD Sport. Hey, if you like the video, uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, please let me know. This is Tony, Talking Car Biz. Thanks for watching.